Uh, some will recall a, a legend of Princess Owatonna, who they say was the daughter of Chief Wabina, and Princess Owatonna was in poor health, and Owatonna's Mineral Springs Park, as it's now named, had a bubbling uh, spring, uh, which was very heavy in iron and it was said that she was restored to health then through drinking this water. That's the legend. Uh, the reason it's called Owatonna is actually because the Sioux who hunted in this area named the river Owatonna and the word Owatonna in Lakota Sioux means straight, so it is the straight river. Uh, the river is not straight, but the valley it created is straight. I'm Jerry Ganfield. I'm retired, but I'm a volunteer for several organizations, including the Steele County Historical Society. And it was a very agricultural state. Dairy was a big thing at, at, in the early days, where it is not a big item. Now, I think we have fewer than 20 dairy farms in the county. But uh, one of the things that became prominent was we had two women, Emma McCrosty and Mina Holmes, who were farmers, farm wives. Um, they made butter. They made very good butter and they entered competitions with butter and butter sculptures and they won gold medals at the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904 and the Mid-Continent Exposition in Omaha in 1898, which brought attention to the quality of butter in Steele County. So it soon developed, we had 24 creameries in this county. We, we sold more premium butter than any other county in the state and that's where we got the self-proclaimed title of Butter Capital of the World. I think a lot of the settlers had a lot of courage and, and fortitude, and it was a time when they were inventing things to help improve life. And so we have a lot of industries that were started by private individuals who were working on a project. And a lot of the companies we have today were for many years private, family-owned. Charles Buxton I was a John Deere dealer here in town, one of our oldest, 1865 it was started. Mr. Buxton was at a convention in the city of uh, farm equipment dealers and there was another meeting going on concerned about uh, in fire insurance because most farm equipment dealers, buildings were made out of wood, the equipment was made out of wood, very subject to fire. And by the end of the meeting he was elected president. He sold his share of the partnership in the John Deere dealership to Mr. Wheelock and he took over that Farmers Mutual Insurance Company, which later he moved to Owatonna and became Federated Insurance, which is probably our largest employer in town. Harry Wenger was the music teacher uh, at Owatonna High School, and he uh, wanted to solve the need for better chairs for uh, instrumentalists, and so he dabbled in creating music chairs designed for people with tubas and, and other larger instruments. And then he left teaching to found the Wenger Company, um, which specializes in that kind of thing as well, sound stages and, and uh, sound shells. I am Karen Pearson, and I am the Director of Tourism and Conventions here in Otana. We really have something for everybody. We have the, something for the adventure seekers, for the history buffs. It has some of the best trails, it has the Great Straight River, and the history and architecture is um, just something that you, you don't really expect in southern Minnesota. We were just recently um, voted one of the top 10 um, trails in Minnesota by Explore Minnesota. So there's the fat tire biking, cross country skiing, of course snowshoeing. Um, really people are you know, getting more and more active. We have a lot of offers for, um, for touring. We have the Orphanage Museum. Um, that's really unique and really get um, a feel for what it was like for those children. Some of them had great experiences, some of them did not. So um, you can also hear from actual orphans that lived there. The bank is also really cool if, if you like um, Frank Lloyd Wright's type of architecture, um, Louis Sullivan was his teacher and so Louis Sullivan designed the jewel box bank and it's just gorgeous. We have Cabela's um, and the Rad Zoo if you're into animals. So we really just have something for everyone. You know, Oatana is located about uh, 65 miles south of Minneapolis, St. Paul on Interstate 35 and we're on the crossroads of Highway 14 
between Rochester and Mankato. So uh, location, location, location. You know, one of the things that we've had the privilege of doing years and years ago, this, the state fair was located in Owatonna for a couple of years. And uh, now the county fair, and it's the biggest county fair in the state of Minnesota. We've got about 300,000 people that come through the gates. There's a lot of vendors that bring in food booths. Uh, we got a great midway, and uh, hopefully every year we hope that the weather is about 75 and sunny all week long. You know, I've uh, had the privilege of being the mayor in my 13th year. Love Owatonna and uh, love to sell Owatonna. You know, my passion about Owatonna is economic development, so anything that we can do to bring in more businesses and more jobs, that's my passion. Uh, we're very blessed in the whole gamut, from small businesses all the way up to uh, Bosch and uh, Federated and Vivercon and all the others. We've got a lot of good things going on downtown. You know, the bagel shop is uh, the best bagel shop in the state of Minnesota. It's got that recognition. We've got uh, a five-story uh, high apartment complex that's going in. We are very, very privileged to have the whole gamut. So it has you know, a lot of um, things for people to do, but yet it's um, tight enough that it has a great community, so it's super exciting. I've lived in seven places in uh, my career, and I think this town offers the most in the broadest sense that any I've lived in. It's just a great city with a great location.